John Potoshnik. Welcome to my studio. You know, one of the things that both professional and amateur artists have struggled with and discussed for probably a hundred years is what to do with all that green. Particularly in the summertime, it's just green, green, green everywhere. Well, what do we do with it? How do we create a variety of greens? Some artists don't even bother. They just wait till early spring or autumn to paint outdoors. In this video, I hope to, and I plan to show you how to create a very interesting variety of greens using a very simple palette. I think you'll enjoy this. You know, when I started this, I thought I wanted to show a, a greater variety, and yet I thought I'm not going to be able to get all this done in, in the short time this video lasts. So I've really simplified this, and now that I look at it, I think the fact that I'm simplifying it is going to make it even more clear to you and understandable. And um, you're all smart enough to realize how to apply this to your own work. So let me uh, show you the palette I'm using. My palette is just a three primary palette, a lemon yellow, which in this case I'm using uh, Utrecht's lemon yellow medium. And then I'm using ultramarine blue and a cad red medium. And this is a color wheel. So what I've done is I've mixed up each of the complements, the violet, the orange, and the green from those three primaries. So now let's start mixing some color and I'll show you what you can do. We think, artists think we, oh, if the, if the landscape is so green, we've got to have a lot of green uh, paint on our palette, uh, tubes of green paint. And I want to demonstrate that's not the case at all. So if I pull down, add some blue to this, I mean, add some red, uh, <laughs> add, some, add some green to this. There's a, there's a green right there, a very dark, beautiful green. I can keep adding green. And you can see those greens change as we go down. And then if I put a little white in that, we get another whole variety of greens. this is just, bear this in mind, all I'm using here is the lemon yellow and the ultramarine blue to achieve these variety of greens. More greens can be created by adding green to this violet. The important thing about uh, when you're using a limited palette like this and, and you're wondering how to get greens, you can do that through intermixing. And this is what is so beautiful about um, using a limited palette like this. Look at all the greens that we can create just by going into the complement, complementary colors. So I add a little white to those so you can see that also. Now that one in context, that looks brown right there, but in context, that will look green. See the contrast there? How beautiful that is? All we did is we've used the same green, complementary green here, mixed from ultramarine blue and the lemon yellow, but now we've mixed that green with those violets. And look at the difference uh, just from mixing it with the blue. So let's do that same thing now using red. You're going to get a beautiful selection again of greens. See, when you have the complements together, which is the red and the green, the green already has two, two primaries in it you're going to get something that approaches brown color. So we'll keep adding green to this as we come down. Could actually add a little more green up here. 
create a better string of color. Okay, I'm going to put a little white in those. That isn't that pretty. Every one of those, look how different they are. Just by using three primaries and intermixing. Okay, we're going to go to the orange. Same thing. Okay, we're going to add a little more green. Look at those greens, aren't those beautiful? So now we'll add a little white to those, create more variety of greens. Okay, and now the final one is with yellow itself. This is really going to be intense. So here I'm going to put the green down with the yellow. Actually, I've got this. I need to add a little more yellow to this. I've started off too green. Okay, and then to that we will add more green and you'll see the variety that's available to us. I didn't do a fantastic job here of showing the variety that can be achieved, but I know you've got the idea. By intermixing with the other colors on your palette, the variety of greens is almost unlimited. Think what you can do if you had two of each of the primaries, say a cobalt blue and an ultramarine blue and a lizard crimson and a cad red. And I mean, it's, un, it's basically unlimited. So I thank you for joining me on this video. I hope it's been helpful to you. Also, I invite you to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and also I'm on my website probably the simplest thing for you to do to, for all those is just type in my name John Potoshnik and it'll take you to all those links. Thanks for joining us.